It's a site that begs the question, what is this driver thinking? This small pickup on Beach Boulevard hauling so much, it looks like the washer and dryer hanging out of the tailgate could easily tumble into the path of oncoming traffic. We follow him as he navigates around several other cars, eventually pulling into a scrapyard off Phillips Highway. We are stunned to spot the same truck another day on Atlantic Boulevard. This time he has a refrigerator strapped on the back edge with a washing machine on the very top of that heap. The truck is so weighed down the tailgate looks like it could hit the road. The way it was strapped down uh, didn't look very secure. Kelvin Carthon says the same pickup nearly ran him off the road a different day in front of the Regency Square Mall. He recorded this video. When he would switch lanes, he would almost hit people. Someone's going to get hurt and a car's going to get damaged. And another day our cameras were rolling when the same truck broke down off of Kernan Boulevard and was towed away by an SUV. We found the owner at home and again find the pickup overfilled. Ropes hardly seem sufficient enough to hold all these sharp pieces of metal. And look at the tailgate. It's being held in place by what looks like a thin piece of rope. We wanted some answers. Sir, I've noticed that you put a lot of stuff in the back of your car and it can be really, really dangerous if it falls out. Is there a reason that you, as you see here, I mean, it's hardly strapped. This, it looks like this tailgate's hardly in place. I mean, no picking the my way, the my way. I wipe it cleanly. Okay, so are you, are you collecting metal? Yeah. What do you do with the metal? No, but it's little. The, 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 In broken little English little, and with the, his wife translating the, no, no, through no, no, an upstairs no window, this man says selling metal for scrap is his only source of income. Ma'am, do you think he understands what I'm saying to him about all of the things that are overflowing in the back of his pickup and how they could fall out? She did not want to talk with us on camera, but told us her husband has never been pulled over by police for driving like this, so they didn't think he was doing anything wrong. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. After I'll seeing our else. video, the Florida Highway Patrol assures us if they see him on the road, he will be pulled over and ticketed. That was probably the worst case I've ever seen with someone carrying debris that's not properly secured. Sergeant Dylan Bryan says the driver is committing several traffic violations in addition to failure to properly secure a load. He says his tag, brake lights, and turn signals are not visible. That's illegal. The truck is also clearly carrying too much weight for its size, violation. And since the driver can't see his blind spots, Bryan says he'd ticket him for careless driving, too. Oh my goodness. Unity yeah, Thornton is disgusted to see either. our video. She's still paying for damage she thinks was caused by a metal scrapper who dropped this AC cage in the middle of the Hartbridge Expressway. There was actually a puncture hole right here in the middle where the bumper meets the fender. All of the black undercarriage was ripped off. It caused more than $2,600 damage to her car. She had to pay the $500 deductible and her insurance went up. From $124.41 a month to $185.92 a month. So it really is still costing me money. She considers herself fortunate she wasn't hurt. Carthon says if this driver isn't more careful, it's just a matter of time before someone does get hurt or worse. Unity Thornton says her close call has made her much more aware of dangers in the road, which is why she says before she drives anywhere, she checks an app called Waze, W-A-Z-E. And there's a feature on the app that allows you to check road hazards so she knows what to avoid before she drives anywhere. Now, if you should ever see any kind of road debris or even a truck that is overloaded dangerously so, you should always report it by calling 911 or dialing star FHP. Jennifer Waugh, Channel 4, The Local Station.